Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. I run a channel called Strikes Not Drugs and I have another channel called Andy. Um, in this quick video I just wanted to show you guys how the Logitech C920 can work on a Mac. I'm currently operating uh, Mac OS X 10.8.2 uh, and um, this is being used in conjunction with a small app that you can actually download from the Mac App Store called the Webcam, Webcam Settings and it's really awesome. Um, as many of you who probably stumbled across this video because you found that the um, C920 doesn't actually work natively with the Mac in terms of the Logitech software that is manufactured by Logitech. But um, this really clever piece of software called Webcam Settings will allow you to um, gain control of a lot of those features that you may have lost um, or never gained in the first place as a Mac user, which the Windows um, people do have. So um, it has some really cool functions along the lines of actually what your exposure is, what gain it uses, white balance, uh, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, and gamma, along with um, your focus, like your manual focus, for example. I'm going to demonstrate it for you now. Uh, this is just set on automatic focus now. And it's, as I drag this, it goes out of focus so that you can see that. How amazing is that? So apparently it's got a 20 stop um, automatic focus as well as digital zoom so in and I think because I'm recording in full high definition that's the only um, step I've got is like one times digital zoom and when I'm zoomed in I'm allowed to pan as well which can't really see the function of that um, arising in, in, in my list of uses as well as um, power line frequency reduction for 50 and 60 Hertz respectively in which country you're in and uh, backlight compensation which I turned off. So again the software is called Web webcam settings you can download from the Mac App Store in New Zealand I believe it is about $13 um, which is not bad you know if you're going to be using a webcam fairly regularly it's not that bad and on top of that I'm recording this video um, right from within QuickTime Player um, you can just use the keyboard shortcut option command N and uh, you can you know, load up a window where you can record from any webcam straight onto your computer. The one thing I will say however is that um, it doesn't seem to be consistent in this frame rate. And I say that because when I imported the footage that I've shot in full high definition through QuickTime, given that I have not got quite a super fast computer, I've got a 2009 MacBook Pro which is a you know, Intel Quad uh, Dual Core, uh, Core 2 Duo 2.8 gigahertz chip. Um, so you may even be able to hear the fan running. Um, but it doesn't record in a consistent 30 frames per second. It kind of hovers around 27, which uh, does provide some sound synchronization errors when you um, when you edit. So I'm, I'm working around that right now. But that's where I am right now. This is a, a short video review and my first off the cuff. Um, experiences using this camera and uh, if you're considering buying it I'm super impressed with the quality so far I've tweaked a lot of these things you know like to remove the noise and to reduce the sharpness a bit because it is a natively um, quite sharp image but when you reduce the sharpness down it's like that's really good I'm happy um, I recommend I hope this has been a helpful video. Check out the link down below for um, how you can find out the webcam settings app on the Mac App Store and uh, be sure to subscribe for some future vlogs using this webcam. Thanks for watching. Bye.